Now at 10 from Colorado Springs to Denver in 20 minutes, this motorcycle driver filming himself going up to 173 miles per hour, speeding through small gaps in the traffic here between lanes, also on the shoulder, all for a little bit of fame on the internet. That video is from 32 year old Rendon Dietzman. Well, tonight he is wanted by the Colorado State Patrol. The Texas native posts videos of himself to YouTube. Some of those videos seen up to 400,000 times. Right now, your reporter Gabriela Vidal joining us with the charges he's facing, plus another biker's perspective. So dangerous here, Gabriela. Yes, yeah, so dangerous. Now the driver of that motorcycle is facing multiple charges, including reckless endangerment, menacing, and driving 40 miles over the speed limit. But it's motorcycles here in the community that say that it's actions like this that make what they do concerning to the community. Reckless riding, it's, it's, it has no space on any estate. It's videos like this. Motorcyclist driving at roughly 150 miles per hour up I-25 from Colorado Springs back in September. Definitely people like this, I mean, it just makes us uh, look really bad. That's grinding gears among longtime motorcyclists like Adrian Perez. I've been in the motorcycle community since I was 16. Some people do it to enjoy the, the ride, to even relax, therapy. It's, it's really a therapy. Perez says it's a passion that gets criticized when people like this leave safety in their rear view. As I saw in the video, he was serving in and out of traffic, so that's definitely not, not a safe move. Colorado State Police say the driver of this motorcycle violated several laws and put hundreds of people in jeopardy. Even today, the suspect's YouTube account continues to showcase videos of high-speed motorcycle riding. He's uh, not smart en enough, and then he's even posting it and sharing it. So, of course, we want to keep the people out of this, the roads. For Perez, he's been using social media to help educate people about the motorcycle community and show that a majority still practice safety on the roads. We're trying to make people known uh, what it is. And we have made attempts to contact the suspect using multiple phone numbers associated with him as well as social media accounts, but have not heard back from him yet. In Denver, Gabriella Vidal covering Colorado First. Okay, Gabriella, thank you.